What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Well, here we are, now more than a quarter century removed from the violent deaths of Tupac Amur Shakur and Christopher Wallace, better known as Notorious B.I.G., a.k.a. Biggie Smalls. All these years later, and social media, our culture, we see it on YouTube. We're still obsessed with the beef. We're enthralled with every little nuance of that whole story that went down. And I think it has to do with uh, something that we can all relate to, a friendship that ends in betrayal of some sort, depending on how you look at it. Uh, Biggie felt like Tupac betrayed him. Um, off of a, a misunderstanding, you know, a, 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 a misread of events, and he turned on him and became his greatest enemy, culminating in the greatest beef, the most infamous beef in hip hop history. From Tupac's perspective, he felt like Biggie uh, was ungrateful. He did so many things for Biggie, um, and in his time of need, he felt like Biggie didn't give him. The warning, uh, knowing what was going to happen from his perspective, from the information he got. And Tupac always maintained to people, apparently he even said this to Biggie. He did it for records. At one point, I think he was pissed off at Biggie and Bad Boys. But I think at the end, he said, I told Biggie, I'm trying to sell records. I'm trying to get paid. So he took on the heel role. As a matter of fact, when you think about it, Tupac sort of just took a wrestling uh, maneuver. He just became the heel, and a great heel. But ultimately, unfortunately, wrestling is not real. Life is. And two young stars, the godfathers of hip-hop, lost their lives within, within a six-month span back in the mid-1990s. But they still in some ways, dominate hip-hop. So I saw an article, put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below, and uh, I saw something that I had never heard before. Now maybe you have heard about this before, but I never did. So Lance Un Rivera, I don't know if he's still an active uh, producer in hip-hop, but I remember him uh, being active in hip hop in the 90s and 2000s. And um, he's also the guy that allegedly Jay Z stabbed in a club back in 1999. You remember that incident? But Lance Rivera said that Biggie cried like a baby the first time that he heard hit him up. So this is what he had to say to Vlad TV, all right? Um, Discussing the origin of Biggie and Tupac's infamous beef. Um, like many cases among rappers, it came down to competition when the All Eyes on Me artist got out of jail and re entered a world where the juicy artist was on top of the rap game. So we're talking about 1995 going into 1996. So we had this hit record called Get Money, and we had a remix to it. And all of a sudden, Tupac comes home. And we're at a video shoot and somebody plays Hit Em Up for us. And we all looked at each other like, what the fuck just happened? Lance Un Rivera said. He continued explaining how he was ready to send shots back. I wanted to shoot a video the next day, make a song the next day, and make one of those videos targeting Suge and Duff Row. And Big was like, nah, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to even respond. Then the conversation went in a different direction, bringing up a 2017 interview Lance Unverbera did with DJ Self, where he mentioned Biggie crying when he first heard Hit Him Up, especially given Pac's claim that he had had sex with Biggie's then uh, wife, Faith Evans, on the record. He said, uh, I was in the room when he heard Faith and Tupac, the record executive said in a 2017 interview. He cried like a baby, Lance confirmed to Vlad in that. And that was a true story. He confirmed that that was a true story. 
Um, you know, I've always felt like the reason why Biggie didn't retaliate when it came to, to Tupac was because of the fact that I think it was a couple of reasons. Number one, I think he really respected Tupac. I think he really respected Tupac. I think that he considered Tupac a friend. I really do. I really do. And, and, and I think Biggie had like a weak spot that Tupac didn't have. Tupac's type of dude, if he felt like no matter how cool you were, he felt like you weren't riding with him, fuck you. And that way, Pac was stronger than Biggie. I think Biggie was a strong dude, don't get me wrong. But I think Biggie the type of dude that if you were friends, you know, he felt like you were really his friend and you betrayed him. I think, and, and he looked up to Pac. You know, at one point, Pac was up here and Biggie was sort of like trying to get there. And there was a time period when Pac was in jail and you could say that there was a time period when uh, Notorious B.I.G. and Junior Mafia briefly were number one sometime in 1995. But I think when Tupac came back, man, it just psychologically, I think Biggie always looked up to Tupac and I think it just brought him back down to size. And I think, I think it was just something there where he just couldn't go at him, you because know, he felt like he, he just, felt like Pac was really his guy, and he thought that this was just a big misunderstanding, we need to just air this shit out, blah, 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 because I think he really had love for Tupac, and I also think, man, I hate to say this, I think a little bit of it too is, Tupac's persona was a little bit embellished, but for the most part, that's who he was. With Biggie, the whole lover thing and all of that, right? I think that was a facade. Biggie knew that he wasn't a good looking dude. Biggie knew that he was fat. Biggie at his core knew that women only was fucking him because of his status and money. And when you hear someone refer to those things, you know, in a rap, claim that they had sex with your wife, and, you know, that probably was in his head, it, it destroyed him. I think it momentarily destroyed Biggie. It destroyed him. And when someone fucks with your head like that, if someone really fucks with your head like that, how can you come back at them? That's why, to me, hit him up is the greatest this record ever because <laughs> it was truth it wasn't just boast <clears throat> it appeared that Tupac was telling the truth and Biggie was so uh, distraught and destroyed by what Tupac said to me man I mean uh, uh, not to me but what he said, to me, I think that it was just, Biggie couldn't even come at that. So that's why he never really retaliated. Never. Not the, not the Tupac. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think.